Who's here gonna draw Gecko? Yeah, from PJ Masks. We've already drawn Catboy and also Alette. Mm -hmm. So we gotta draw Gecko. Now, when you were really little, you loved the PJ Masks. Yeah, I liked it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> and Olivia is now three, and she absolutely loves PJ Masks too. Mm -hmm. But this lesson is a little challenging, so we thought we would do this for her, right? Yeah. We're gonna draw the picture, then we're gonna go give it to her. <laughs> she screamed last time we gave her Catboy. Oh yeah, she did. <laughs> we hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, all right. You ready to start? Yeah. We're first gonna draw a big oval for Gecko's head. We'll start here. I'm gonna start up pretty high, and then we're gonna draw a curve. Well, not curve, an oval. Comes down, around, and then we're gonna come back up and connect at the top. Nice, I love how big his head's gonna be. <laughs> okay, now let's draw his eyes. We're gonna draw two circles. I'm gonna draw one here. I'm drawing them pretty big, but both the same size for each eye. Okay, now we can, we can also draw a smaller circle in the top left of each eye. And then let's color in the bigger circles black, but leave the little circles white. Now let's draw the outside shape of his eyes. We're gonna draw an upside down U and see how the top of the U touches the top of his eye. And we'll do the same thing on the right side. There you go. Yeah, now let's, we could draw the bottom of his eye. We're gonna draw a straight line across to connect the bottom of the U on each side. Okay, now let's draw his opening on his mask for his mouth and his nose. We're gonna start here and we're gonna draw a, it looks like another oval shape. So we'll draw, we'll come up close to his eyes and then we'll curve back down and connect to the bottom of his head. Looks like he's screaming. Uh, oh yeah, it does. <laughs> Big open mouth. Then we can draw his nose. We're gonna draw a smaller U right here. And we can also draw his smile. We're gonna draw a little curve underneath his nose. Now, it kinda of looks like Gecko. A not, little bit. Yeah, not quite. We still need to draw the top of his mask or the little, the little fringe on top of his head for his Gecko suit. So we'll first draw a U shape. It comes down and then back up. Now on the right side, we're gonna go up past his head and we're gonna draw an upside down U, come back down, but on this side, we're not gonna connect. Then we're gonna draw another bump that's smaller and then we'll connect it in. There we go. Now we're ready to draw his body. We're gonna draw two lines coming down from his chin. We'll start here, we'll come down, and then we'll do another one over here. And look, towards the bottom, it gets further away. I'm gonna even draw them just a little longer on each side. There. Yes, now we're gonna draw a point. We'll leave a little space where his ankle would be. We'll add a point and we'll do the same thing on the right side. Okay, now we're gonna come up and draw an upside down V and come back down. And connect, yeah, to the other point. Okay, now we can draw his feet. We're gonna draw a diagonal line that comes out on the left and a straight line down on the right. Then we can connect these two together with a curve. Let's do the same thing on the right, but opposite. Okay. We're gonna draw the diagonal line out here and then a straight line down on the inside. That's for his heel. And then we got his toes over here and we'll connect the heel over to the toes. All right, we did it, we drew his body. Now we need to draw his arms and we're gonna draw him flexing or because he's really strong, right? Yeah. So we're gonna draw a line that comes down, a diagonal line from his shoulder. Then we're gonna bend and we'll come back up. Olivia says super gecko muscles. Yeah, she says that a lot actually. <laughs> <laughs> then we're gonna draw the other side of his arm. We'll start where his armpit is and we'll come down to his elbow. And then we're gonna bend back up and watch. See how I'm further away up here? Mm -hmm. So it gets thicker towards his wrist. Let's repeat that same step over here for his other arm. So we'll bend down to his elbow and then back up. Then we can do the other side of his arm. Start at his armpit, down to his elbow, 
And then we're going to draw the line coming back up and get further away towards his wrist. Okay, now we need to draw his, his fists like this, like he's flexing. And we're going to draw a curve that comes around. And then we're going to curve all the way back down and connect to the other side of his arm. Let's do the same thing over here on this side. We'll draw a curve coming up and then we'll keep going and then connect into the other side. And we can also draw his thumb so it looks more like he's flexing. We're going to draw a little U on the inside and we'll do the same thing over here. <laughs> okay, we also need to add his little pads that he has on his elbows and also his knees. It kind of looks like armor, like strong armor. So we're going to draw two lines that come out. One on this side of his arm and then one on the other side. Yeah, and then we're going to connect those two with a little V shape. Let's do the same thing over here on the right side, two lines that come out. And then we'll connect those two lines together. Okay, let's also draw ovals on his knees. So we'll draw a small little oval on the left and also a same size oval on the right. What are we missing? His tail. Yeah, we're missing his tail. We'll draw a curve, it's gonna come. Like this off to the left. Now he has a lizard tail. So we're going to start here on the end and we'll curve around. And as we come back to his body, I'm going to turn my paper sideways. We're going to get further away so it gets thicker. Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing Gecko. Now he looks really cool, but we still need to color him, right? Mm -hmm. We have our markers. So if you're using uh, biannual markers, you can use the same colors. We're using G406 and G503. These are our two greens. You could also use whatever. We're using a light green and a dark green. Yeah. You could use crayons or colored pencils. Or oil pastels. Oh yeah, oil pastels. And we're also using Y611 for skin. Now, the first thing we're gonna do actually is use our light green and we're gonna use the point so that we can draw his sign that's on his chest, okay. his little symbol. Let's draw an oval on his chest. We're gonna draw it sideways, a sideways oval. Like that. Kind of looks like an egg. Sideways egg. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to color that in. Then let's switch to our dark green or darker green and we're going to add the little details. Let's first draw an oval for the eyes on, on the symbol. We'll draw it right here. Oval on the left and also an oval on the right. Looks like an alien. Mm -hmm. Then on each side of his eye, we're going to draw a line that connects to the outside. We'll connect from the eye to the outside of the oval. Then let's draw a U shape in the middle of his forehead or the, the lizard's face. There you go. And we can also add, I, I think there's two lines that go across. It's okay if you can't fit the two lines in. It's really small. Mm -hmm. That's how you draw his little symbol on his chest. Now this next part we're going to fast forward, but at the end you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Hadley, we did it. We finished coloring Gecko. He looks really cool. Mm -hmm. And we also used our light green to add eyebrows and also color his little armor pads and the end of his tail. And the bottom of his shoes. Yeah. Now you guys can color your drawings also and add a background. That would look really cool. Yeah. You could draw the other characters too. Mm -hmm. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing Gecko. And we'll see you later our friends. Goodbye! Goodbye.